Hi, this is Asterix and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be covering how to use Luna recording system as a console replacement with FL Studio. So let's get started. The very first thing that you need to do inside of Luna is you need to create audio tracks. Um, and those audio tracks can contain all of your input devices that you're utilizing with your universal audio interface. Meaning if you have mics, if you have external gear like keyboards, um, any other types of things, returns for effects, you need to create an audio, audio track for those items and you need to point the input sources to those items. So in my case, I have microphone, I have a couple of keyboards, and I have my guitar all routed, those channels routed as audio tracks inside of Luna. I've also created what's called a virtual channel. Um, actually, I have two of them, one and two and three and four, but I'm using three and four to be able to do the routing from my DAW into Luna. And let's talk about that a little bit more. So, so over in FL Studio, it's actually super simple to set up. Uh, all I had to do was in the mixer view, um, just select the, highlight the master and go to the pull down menu under in the mixer uh, side panel view. And there you'll see the uh, output um, sources. And I've selected my virtual channel that I created over in Luna, which is three and four. That's it. That's all you got to do. And let me bring up Luna and I'll show you that it works. Okay, so the other key to this is in my virtual channel, I am doing a send out to the main. I noticed that when I output it out to the main, I was not able to um, hear the Neve summing. Um, when you do it this way, I found that um, the Neve summing is there. What I discovered is that there is some latency inside of FL Studio. If you desire to avoid the latency, and you can if you use this method, what you need to do is select the channel that you bring the instrument into in the mixer, go to the output section and just point it to your virtual channel that you created. Once you do that, you can record in real time um, inside of FL Studio. Once you're done, set it back to, uh, to none so that um, FL Studio will retain the uh, total mix down to the one output source of your master. And that's it. That's how you utilize the real-time system of Luna inside of FL Studio. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe and like. And I'll see you on the next one. Say you want to smoke, bitch, now you're just scared. Then I'm coming